Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Yaqub and I am from Lahore, Pakistan and I teach IELTS here. Once again, I welcome you all to my IELTS video. All my students in Pakistan and Pakistanis all over the world. My students in India and Indians all over the world and my students in Indian Punjab, a great Sastri call to all of you. And then my students in Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Saudi Arabia, UAE and elsewhere, wherever you guys watch my videos, thank you very much for watching my videos and for introducing me as an IELTS trainer on YouTube. Thank you very much. Jazakallah, right? Now, I'm going to give you some sort of prediction and uh, this prediction is on the basis of uh, IELTS tests which has been conducted recently. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you what sort of questions are anticipated on 6th of April. As you know, the next test is going to be conducted on 6th of April. And uh, I checked Google, 6th of April is a global date for IELTS. And uh, there's going to be full test. It's academic and general training together. So I'm going to give you my prediction. And let me tell you, prediction is prediction. I'm not sure whether what I'm going to say it's going to happen or not and by the way I always give prediction to be on the safe side so my prediction is not like that I tell you exactly what is going to happen I'm going to tell you type of questions in listening type of questions in reading and type of questions in writing so I have brought some uh, booty with me <laughs> okay yeah uh, we've got this uh, listening booty and then this is reading booty and by the way Shumaila made me this booty and she said Asad, these questions might come in the test. So you tell your students about these questions. So let's open uh, with the listening one. Okay. All right. Uh, as far as listening is concerned, uh, in listening, the type of questions which is important for section one, that is no more than one word. Now in listening section one, there can be a table completion there can be a sentence completion right so there can be a completion task and for a completion task no more than one word type of questions is very important it can be no more than two words or no more than one word and or a number so remember you must practice for listing section one for notes completion for uh, sort of uh, sentence completion or for table completion there can be the question type uh, no more than one word uh, plus a number so no more than word one word and or a number that is important for listening section one uh, okay so question seven to ten they will also have the same type of questions then after that in listening section two chances are there are going to be two things either there's going to be multiple choice or there's going to be a map maybe the first four questions are about uh, map first four or first five questions are about map and the remaining questions are about multiple choice so remember for listening IELTS listening 6th April 2019 exam listening section 2 two type of questions are important the first type is map and the second type is uh, choose the correct letter that is what we call multiple choice there can be any other type as well but these two types are actually important well after that uh, there's going to be a question type like you need to label a map and that can be like questions 17 to 20 17 to 20 means four questions so in section 2 they can be a map and for map sometimes they write the words they label the words as a b c d and all that stuff so you need to just see how to do about that after that in section 3 uh, we are talking about IELTS listening in section 3 there are bright chances that the question type which is going to come on 6th April that is going to be multiple choice so you have to pay some special attention to multiple choice and let me tell you there are two three types of multiple choice one multiple choice is there is a statement a b c three options another multiple choice is there are five statements and you have to choose any two out of five statements that is also another type of multiple choice so you need to prepare for that type of multiple choice questions as well 
and then questions 27 to 30 I mean the last section last part again there can be some sort of notes completion question with one word only no more than two words no more than three words or they can be a short answer question or they can be a sentence completion right anything like that might come as far as section 4 is concerned in the last two three exams in section 4 there is a complete uh, uh, what do you say table or there is a complete chart uh, not the chart it's, it's sort of a table and you have to complete it with no more than one word so the questions are like 31 to 40 and the type of question is complete complete the notes below there are the notes a complete thing it's based on science research technology about marine life about fish about anything there is a complete audio and the questions are 31 to 40 and the answers should be filled in no more than one word that is very very common so guys you need to prepare with that you need to prepare that as well this was my booty about listening okay booty is cheating let me put it in my pocket okay now I'm going to open reading as far as reading is concerned I'm going to talk about academic reading and for academic reading I've told you uh, I mean around like for the last couple of years IELTS reading is uniform now I mean they've got the same pattern they follow the same pattern the same type of questions are there so we are going to discuss about reading and let me tell you this booty is made by Shumaila she's just Give, given this to me and she said Asad these questions might come now let's see uh, Shumaila's prediction by the way she's a very good uh, tarot card reader as well anyways in reading the first five questions the first type of questions we've got that is complete the flow chart below there's going to be a flow chart where there is the information and remember in section one there can be I mean the first questions in section one the first four or five questions either they are flow chart or they are true false dot given or they are short answer question or they are sentence completion now this flow chart is also a sentence completion type of questions so keep in mind one thing whenever you start with section one first type of questions the answers are going to be in the very first paragraph from there the answers will start and then you read on so this is a wonderful tip for reading section one the first type of questions like questions one to six one to five the answers are going to be in the very first paragraph then read second paragraph and you'll find the next answers and all that right so complete the flow chart below there's going to be a flow chart there's going to be a short answer question there's going to be true false not given there's going to be a sentence completion in reading section one and one word only from the text for each answer you must prepare this this is important then questions six to nine once again they can be true false not given now if true false not given comes in section one reading section one it's not going to be very difficult read the question carefully underline the clue words scan for the clue words and remember for true false not given questions and answers they are in the same order once you find the question answer of question number six read ahead you'll find the answer of question number seven then eight then nine then ten so in section one uh, the second type of questions can be true false not given or it can be yes no not given as well anyways the type of questions which i'm telling you they will come i don't know whether they are going to come in section one or section two or section three but definitely they are going to come because there is no other way these type of questions are very very common then after that uh, in section two they can be the question type like answer the questions below choose no more than three words and or a number from the text for each answer this type of question is also very popular and uh, this type of question is very common sorry not popular popular is wrong word here so you need to prepare for that as well and when it is no more than three words and or a number from the text you need to select the word and write it exactly as it is written in the text or as it has been written in the text okay after that uh, in this exam there is going to be a question that is what we call list of headings or we call it paragraph headings 
the question comes like the text has eight paragraphs and chances are this list of headings is going to come in section one or section two of reading so be aware you must do and remember whenever there is list of headings read all the questions of that section first and then do list of headings because for list of headings you have to go through all the passage so in the meantime you can search the answers of other questions as well so list of headings is going to be there either in section one or section two right for that which paragraph contains the following information my videos are available on that so you must watch them then as the test proceeds in section two there can be more questions like complete the sentences below it's about sentence completion right as i told you choose no more than two words and or a number from the text for each answer and you got to write your answers in the box uh, okay then uh, we've got complete the summary below well this time there's going to be a summary and usually this summary comes as the last question of section two or it comes as the last question of section three it doesn't come summary usually doesn't come in section one summary usually comes in section two or section three and it's the last question if it is in section two it's going to be questions 23 to 26 if it is in section three it's going to be questions like 37 to 40 usually but otherwise it can be anywhere so you must prepare for summary no more than two words no more than one word no more than three words so it's going to be important for this exam and i'm telling you about academic ielts reading then how can we forget multiple choice this time in ielts test on 6th april in listening as well as in reading you guys should focus multiple choice in reading in multiple choice there can be four options a b c d so you need to choose the correct letter and uh, let's see how these correct letters uh, you choose and read the statement first scan those words or synonyms then read about that statement then come back and see which heading is appropriate my videos are already there so you need to prepare for this as well and then there can be a summary of one paragraph or two paragraphs or they can be like multiple choice where you have to choose two options out of five this type of question or they can be a little diagram and there will be three to four questions in the diagram which you have to fill out and all that and then once again there can be like true false not given in the first section and yes no not given in the third section so you got to be aware uh, this might happen as well and then questions uh, like the last questions can be like look at the following statements uh, list of people and then you got to match them this is what we call matching whenever there is the list of people all you need to do you got to just scan those people in the passage underline then read their statements and come back and read the statements which are available in the questions this is how you can attempt this question so this is what is going to happen in reading and most of the question types which i told you they usually come and they will come this time as well so this prediction is not going to go in the air uh, this is this is something which is going to happen but let me tell you prediction is always a prediction but this i mean uh, how you predict that is something different as far as essay writing is concerned today i'm going to tell you about essay writing i'm going to tell you exactly the statement which they are going to give you topic can be any nobody can guess about the topic but about type i mean one is topic second is type topic can be like based on any social problem on any scientific thing or any research based thing and all that stuff right mainly it is social whatever right so topic can be any but type i'm going to tell you out of these six types there's going to be one type and the chances are my first two types they usually come and they might come this time as well now remember at the end of the topic if it's written to what extent do you agree or disagree it means it's an opinion essay so you got to write an opinion essay when they say to what extent do you agree or disagree that is an opinion essay and opinion and discussion essays are the most important ones in IELTS exam looking at the current scenario next there can be a topic discuss both views and give your opinion whenever there is the question type discuss both views and give your opinion it means it's a discussion essay so you need to follow the pattern of discussion essay first to what extent do you agree or disagree 
most important one second most important is uh, discuss both views and give your opinion that is an opinion essay and if they write discuss the advantages and disadvantages it means it's also a discussion essay introduction discuss advantages discuss disadvantages and conclusion then there can be do the advantages outweigh disadvantages now when they say do the advantages outweigh disadvantages it's actually opinion and discussion essay because they are asking you for your opinion and they are asking you to discuss advantages and disadvantages so here you are going to give your opinion at the end if they say do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages it's actually opinion and discussion introduction advantages disadvantages and in conclusion you will write clearly whether advantages outweigh disadvantages or disadvantages outweigh advantages so you'll follow the pattern of uh, discussion essay but you will give your opinion even you can give your opinion in the introduction as well and if they say is this a positive or a negative development if the question type in the essay is is this a positive or negative development it is also an opinion essay because they are asking you whether the development is positive or negative and if they say what are the benefits and drawbacks benefits and drawbacks now again it's just like advantages and disadvantages essay so you got to discuss advantages and disadvantages it can be a discussion essay as well what are the benefits and what are the drawbacks introduction benefits drawbacks conclusion and you can give your opinion whether benefits are more or drawbacks are more so these are the six types but the most important one is uh, to what extent do you agree or disagree and the second most important discuss both views and give your opinion now as far as writing task one is concerned as I told you I mean in, uh, but as you know in the last IELTS test there was uh, a bar chart and then there was a pie chart I mean there were two things actually one bar chart I, I think one bar chart and one table right and in some IELTS tests there was a diagram as well so you need to focus two things actually one is process diagram and second is the graphic information that is bar chart pie chart line graph flow chart okay and table so there are two categories as I told you already one is a graph with a trend one is comparative graph so this time it's going to be either a graph with a trend with a trend means they will give you 10 years data and a comparative graph means they will give you one year data and you got to compare that so either it's going to be 10 year data graph with a trend or one year data it's going to be a graph for comparison or comparative graph so you can just do that easily so don't worry about task one it's going to be some somewhat similar and if there is a diagram you know in the diagram how we write introduction then divide the diagram into two parts and write the body parts of that and this is how you got to go on with the diagram if it's going to be a process diagram but mainly chances are it's going to be a graphic information graphic information means bar chart pie chart table line graph or any any other type like that so you need to prepare both and my videos are readily available for that and as far as uh, general training writing task one is concerned let me tell you it's going to be either formal letter or informal letter right I mean these are two types and then there are six categories of letter uh, it's going to be out of those six categories I mean you prepare learn good sentences for these six categories learn good language related to these six categories it's going to be one of those I'm sure about that either the letter is going to be a letter of uh, request or it can be a letter of condolence or it can be a letter of appreciation or it can be letter of advice feedback or suggestion or it's going to be a letter of apology or it's going to be a letter of complaint formal or informal so letter of request letter of condolence letter of appreciation letter of advice feedback and suggestion letter of apology and letter of complaint so out of these six letters going to be any one letter that's why I would like to tell you please learn sentences for example you can go to Google and write there English phrases to make a request English sentences for condolence English sentences for appreciation so that you could go, you could use good sentences in your letter to get your required bench score as far as speaking is concerned 
there isn't any prediction about speaking but let me tell you the questions which they ask i've given you a list of questions a long list of questions so it's going to be something from there so don't worry about speaking all the topics are going to be familiar nothing is going to be difficult there thank you very much if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and my other channel asad yakub vlogs I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, you can contact me for that. And I also offer online IELTS writing correction service. If you want to subscribe IELTS writing correction service, my number is given. You can contact me for that. And definitely, uh, online classes and correction service they are paid services. You have to pay a certain amount uh, to subscribe those services. Asad Yaku wishes you all the best. all of you who are appearing on 6th april in ielts test i wish you all the best and please whatever i have told you in this video you must act upon that still you have time you can do all the practice act upon all these things definitely you will end up getting a good band score and after your exam you should be the first one to send me the feedback of your exam to send me your review first of all your name then your city and your country then uh, uh, you took your ielts test from a, a idp or british council then whether it was academic or general training then in listening what were the audios about and what type of questions in section 1 section 2 section 3 section 4 then in reading what were the passages about title of the passages and type of questions you had and then you can give your verdict also whether it was easy or difficult then same with writing If you did academic tell me what was writing task 1 and what was writing task 2 for essay writing so if you send me the message at the earliest i will make a video uh, a review video with your name thank you very much asad yaku wishes you all the best all the best all the best with your ielts test and 6th april is going to be a wonderful day of your life and you are going to pass your ielts test with flying colors means with very good bands take good care of yourselves Allah Hafiz